What I want to do, we're, we're not going to uh, hear a whole lot of this, but I want to give you just a little taste what I've been experimenting with, um, with orchestral tools, uh, Benjamin Wall Walfish uh, strings. You know, it's a huge library, so I had to mess around with my storage. You make some room because it is a humongous library, the collection with the strings themselves and with the stringscapes. Let's pull up the sign player, and I just have the sustains, and let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got here. I, I kind of loaded an ensemble with violins one, violas, cello, and basses. The thing about Benjamin Walfa's strings is that they have different articulations for up bows and down bows, and I'm trying to wrap my head around how to work on that. One of the cool things that I did, I experimented some with the mic merging because I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. I've got six mic signals uh, downloaded, but when you have all of those mics turned on, starting to play, it just, especially when you're playing multiple voices, it brings things down. So I merged these mic signals. Get the legato turned on, maybe. I don't know. Some of what you're hearing, I think it could be my variable sustain pedal. Yeah, I've got the sustains and legato in there. And I've got a bunch of stuff going on too. I've got all of those layers. So what we'll do, let's just go to the, let's go to the library. And let me just load, let me just load something fresh. Like with the, um, Okay, so when you have them, okay, yeah, I've got five other. So you can see that I merged that articulation there. It creates a different mic position, and then I can go and load um, all the different ones. So I'm just gonna load the, um, I'm just gonna just turn, just remove this. Let's just remove these. And we can uh, just kind of start fresh and kind of take a listen. And we've got the legato enabled there. We're still loading. So look at this. So with just with this one articulation, we've got 2.6 gigs. Because the sustains are not looped. The sustains are are like 20 second recordings. Yeah, and I ran out of room. So I'm going to turn the legato off so I can kind of play the sustains. And this is just the down bow. And that's one of the ideas I'm thinking about the expression pedal, the USB expression pedal, is to be able to set up a set up some kind of a switch where I can alternate between the up bow and down bow somehow. Um, so I'm going to go back to the library and I'm going to just load the violas 
just the, um, let's just load the tree mic. And let me just set up, um, let me just set up a little multi here. It's a lot of fun. Okay, yeah, I'm just really filling the memory up here. <laughs> so let's see, Chelly. Okay, I think I've got it. I need to wait until it loads. I need to wait until it loads all the way. And it's filling up the... Uh... Yeah, it's still going. Now this is the Chelly. Let's just do a little bit of the legato with the Chelly. off so we can kind of do some of the sustains. Now we're getting up into the violins here when we do this. Let me turn the legato back on on the uh, on the violins. You can't, uh, it, it, I've got to figure out. <laughs> Just learning as we go here. Yeah, the CPU is hitting pretty hard, and I think it's because, um, yeah, I've got all of these different mic mixes loaded, the close tree. So if we turn off the, um, if we turn off some of those mics, um, that's going to cut down on that CPU a little bit. Yeah, that did. And I love the dynamic layers because it, the more you dig into it, the brighter it becomes. So there's a lot more coming with this uh, particular library. I'm gonna learn some more. I, let's just load up some of the uh, stringscapes. There was one that I really, I really loved, the transcendental. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of darker things uh, going on there, but uh, but yeah, David, it's just so rich. Let's go to the Tutti Transcendental. These are performances. It's kind of like orchestrated stuff, just to set moods and beds. Listen to that, just holding. I'm gonna bring the body gain up a little bit. And I thought I saw Stephen Talmy in the in the chat. So welcome. It's good to see you, my friend. And let's uh let's do this. Okay, we've got longs reversed. Oh wow, we've got chords. That's wild. Oh, no wonder. Here we go. And, and that just kind of goes on and on and on. I hear little tick. 
symphony in there. Yeah, that's pretty wild. And we've got trills. Now let's see. This is what I love about the sign player too. I'm going to extend the keyboard down some and I'm going to bring it up here. There's so much going on inside of these. Um, wow. Interesting. Very interesting stuff here. Um, and I've got the transcendental. Yeah, and the longs. Let's go back to the longs and stretch those out uh, a little bit more. Yeah. Hey, Donald, good to see you. Yeah, it's really, um, <laughs> it's just one of those things that um, it's just very, um, Bring some of the Casio in here so we can kind of. Oh. Very interesting things going on here. <laughs> um, we've got longs reversed. Wow, let's see what that's. Let's see, let's stretch this out a little bit. There's more than strings going on here. It's just kind of like some really cool sound design type of things. Let's go into the textures here. Um, let's just take a look at some of the textures. And wow. Now these are like Just some background things. Let's go to ascending. And see, since the samples are so long, they have time to evolve and Listen to that. Listen how that just kind of goes. Yeah, I'm not done. I'm not done anything, and it's still doing it. Listen to how it grows. It grows. Wow. Listen to that. 
um, distorted strings. These are very specific sound designy stuff. Wow, Archangel Choir, and of course, I'm going to stretch these out just a little bit. Now that. That's interesting. Very, very, uh, very specific things going on. Very cinematic. Let's do the space spaceport atmos let's see where is it here we go oh yeah yeah this is great stuff <laughs> some really cool material here yeah uh, let's go to see what experimental yeah there's some crazy stuff going on in here yeah so let's see Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not a huge fan of, of, of stringscapes <laughs> because I'm more you, you know, it's, it but it leans really into a specific thing here. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, we're gonna yeah, you're gonna hear some of these, you're gonna hear some of these, I guarantee it in um, in some of these uh, series. Okay, so let's see. I wanna just load this up again and just see what um, yeah, the risers are 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 cool. Okay, I've got my Okay, let's see. And the mic merging is something that is really something that I'm just enjoying trying to use. This is using my merged uh, all mic. Let me load up a bass. And load the, um, the tree. articulations that's what I did um, now where's that coming from oh it, okay I, yeah, I did switch it I, I did switch it so yeah, because the key switches are down here and I was playing the bass. So I'm going to slide the key switches down there so I won't get in there. That's what triggered that staccato. Okay, let me bring that bass back up. Yeah, let's bring the basses back up. Come on, give it to me, give it to me. Here we go. And let's put the staccato there.
this is with the uh, the strings uh, stretched down a little bit. Let's go to the marcato there. Ah, gee. Oh, is this just piccato? orchestral tools to come out with a really good sounding piano. Uh, let's go uh, pizzicato. Now can somebody uh, hear the reference, hear another musical reference and I'll give you a hint, it's a Pixar, it's a Pixar movie. And Debbie, you, you know the answer. My favorite uh, Michael Giacchino's uh, scores. Now see, there you go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, see, it, sometimes it takes us a while to get to this place, but once we get there, um, oh, it's just so inspiring. Now, we'll go back to Nigel. Um, we'll go back to Nigel because this, this puts you in to a space. When, when, I'm, when I'm hearing, there she is, <laughs> it is, it is one of our, it's one of our favorite movies. <clears throat> and um, so, uh, but that's what happens. It puts you into the space. Uh, it puts you into this orchestral space and then it takes you even further. Because uh, when I, and then I'm putting the, uh, the piano on top of it, the Casio, and that just brings, helps me to. Yeah. Yeah, see the piano just kind of adds. Fantastic. Yeah, it is a cool combination for sure, Nigel. Um, oh, the tremolo, and we can. And then a the little shim chim chimney. <laughs> the cool thing is, see, I still just, I have those violins stretched down a little bit.
I can't wait to figure out a way to get the the up and the down bows going and to work more with the um to work more with the the mic merging as well um And I think what's happening with this, with the, when you hear something kind of drop out or whoosh, uh, my sustain pedal that I have hooked to the Casio is a um, continuous controller. Sometimes, uh, I know contact has an issue sometimes with it, but it's, it's seen a whole bunch of uh, controller messages coming from the sustain pedal. I want to just do this. I want to load the violas. Okay, this is the... Uh... Now I'm going to collapse this. Here's the violas. 2D. Ah, put it on channel one. We want to put it on channel one. Okay, there we go. The same issue. Um, so I'm going to move the key switches way up here and uh, put it back on some sustains. Let's see, let's solo, let's solo those violas. The basses, I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna turn off the tree mic, I mean the close and the center, and let's, um, okay, oh good. Okay, I'm gonna turn off these individual mics, and then I've got a mic merge setting for the violas. Let's just solo the violas. Now let's bring back the violins and we've got get the basses in there. Getting a little more familiar with the um, sign player. got um, 50, 60 voices, and a, the CPU's kind of floating around 20%, but it's good. It's good that I was able to collapse the mics into that one merge, pos merge uh, position because it gives you the full sound without sacrificing uh, the CPU. It's a really cool way to... Uh, bring performance back to that. It's amazing when you see a master string player control a note from the beginning to the end, the way that they initiate the sound. 
I'm always amazed at just the sheer range of a string orchestra specifically. There's this beauty in the, in the controlled chaos. The minute you load a patch, you'll just want to play. 